Welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn Elton John's Sacrifice. So first I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down note by note, lick by lick, chord by chord, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. So as you can see, this is a fairly straightforward arrangement. It's pretty simple. It's just four and a half chords. It's D, G, E minor, A, and half of a B minor chord. It's a B minor chord, but we're not putting on the whole chord. So it's just a bar. Okay, so four and a half chords. So it's perfect for the beginners among you. But if you're a beginner and you're still having trouble with the material here on Lick and Riff, I recently released a seven hour complete beginner course. Okay, it's on a platform called Graphy. You can find the link in the description. It's a seven hour course designed to take you from complete beginner a complete beginner, no prior knowledge uh, required because it's designed to take you from complete beginner to intermediate. Everything, I cover everything. It's seven hours of musical, uh, of musical exercises designed to train both your hands, your ears, and your musical skills. So check it out, it's called Strike a Chord. It's perfect for the beginners among you, okay? And those of you who are not beginners already know that I have the complete Guitar Freedom course series, my 10 course um, series uh, that you can find on my website. So if you're a beginner, check out Strike a Chord, the seven hour ultimate beginner course that I recently released. And um, if uh, you're looking for something more advanced, then you have my complete Guitar Freedom course series. So check them out, right? So um, by the way, that's uh, what keeps Lick and Riff going. So I thank you in advance for any course that you choose to purchase. Uh, all right, so let's start with the intro, which is just chord arpeggios. So you have D, okay, just a D chord. And it's just a simple arpeggio. You play strings four, three, one, two, three. Okay, strings four, three, one, two, three. Okay, a pretty basic arpeggio. Okay, a D chord with strings four, three, one, two, three. Then you go to A, okay, and you do exactly the same thing, 
but uh, strang down, okay? Down musically or up physically, okay? It's in a lower pitch. So you play strings five, four, two, three, four, okay? Five, four, two, three, four, okay? So together it sounds like this, okay? D, A, okay? And then you have G, so you put these two fingers on, okay? On three and three, on two and six, okay? Fingers two and three. And then you play this. Okay? So it's six, four, two, three, four, and then six again. Okay? So it's... And then you have this. Okay? It's three on the second string. And then zero five, using your little finger, okay, on the first string. And then you have a D chord again. You play two, okay, on the first string, and then you start the arpeggio again, okay? So it's G, bass, okay, three on the second, zero five on the first, and then two on the first string with a D chord, okay? So you can do. Okay, so the, the F sharp note, the two on the first string still rings. So it's... Right? See how it connects? And then you play uh, D, A, and G again. Okay? Exactly the same way. Okay? And then G. Okay? And then you start the verse. You have... Okay, you're still on G, okay, when you finish D-A-G, okay, the intro, the second round, and you play 3-3 three, three on the second string, and then 0-2 on the first, and then you put on D, and you can play the whole chord or just the bass, just the D string with 2 pull off to 0 on the first string, okay, or the whole chord, okay, and then the second string on three, okay, it's inside the chord, that's it. So it's, okay? I played the G bass before just to give you musical context. And then you have this line. Now remember it because it's the motif of the song. This line is gonna repeat, okay, a lot. So memorize that first, so. Okay, this is the line. So it's G, okay? Again, the second finger on the bass, so three on the bass, and then zero, three on the second string, okay? And then you have two, zero on the first string. Okay, so it's, okay? Now you can play, okay? You can play the whole chord when you play zero, three on the second string. You can play the bass and then, okay, the whole chord, strings two, three, and four. Okay, and then add three. And then you have, Okay, two zero on the first string, you let go of the chord and you have E minor, okay, with three on the second string. Okay, so you don't have to put the chord on, just three on the second string because we're not picking anything on strings four and five, so. Okay, it's uh, three on the second string, it's just an E minor seven arpeggio, so it's strings six, three, two, one. Okay, and then you have Two on the second string with the A bass. Now you can play that, okay? Or you can play the whole A chord. Okay, you can put the whole A chord on and pick it, and then the bass, okay? So it's up to you, okay? Or just the thin version, Okay, which sounds wonderful as well, okay? You can variate between the two because this line repeats. Again, okay, I repeat, this line repeats, so memorize it, okay? And then you need to have A on, or if you're just putting a finger on, just bar, okay? And you play, okay? So it's two, two on the third, and then it's two, two, two on the second, and then you have the D string, 
and then three on the second spring. Okay, so you can bar and play. Okay, you can play uh, the 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 second string with the third string harmonizing it. So, okay, the third string and then. Okay, both of them, D, and then three and two on strings two and three, which is a D chord. Okay, just without the note on the first string. So. Um, the whole line okay so uh, that's the musical context okay so you can uh, you can variate on the way that you express this line throughout okay so after you do this okay this line you play G E minor and A again Okay, the line that I just told you to memorize. You play it again. Okay, exactly the same. Okay, and uh, this time you can variate. If you played it one way the previous line, you can play it another way this time. Okay, if you played the thin version, you can play the full version. Okay, with A. Um, and then you have the same uh, the same notes uh, of the D line, but this time it's B minor. So it's okay. So you bar um, you bar strings two and three, and at the end instead of the D bass instead of the D string you play two on the fifth string so it's two 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 on the second string with two on the third and when you play two on the fifth string this becomes B9 okay? and then when you add three you get B minor seven okay without doing anything without putting on anything you just you're just barring so So that's the beauty of finger style arrangements. You don't have to put the whole chord on. Um, okay, and then you have, okay, and then you play the G line, but instead of E minor seven afterwards, you just play A. Okay, so you play two zero on the first string. Okay, so and then you play A. Okay, and then you have the B minor, G and A sequence again. Okay, and then you have this. Um, okay, you have D again. Okay, so it's two, 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 three on the second string with the D bass before the three. Pretty simple, and then you have the G line again with E minor and A. Okay, exactly the same way. You repeat it again. E minor, A E minor seven. Okay, with A finishing the line. So G E minor seven and A again, exactly the same. I told you it's gonna repeat, and then you have D again. But you add a couple of notes to the end of the line. So it's D again. And then strings two and three with D. That's it. Three on the second string, two on the third. That's it. So okay? that's why this song is perfect for the beginners among you, because it's mostly just the notes and the chords. That's it. And then, guess what? You have G and A again. Okay? G, the G line, the G lick, and then the A chord again. Okay? That's it. So that's the verse. Okay, practice it. Um, it might be a little bit confusing because of all the re repetitiveness, but that's the great thing about this song. Okay? It's a great song for uh, practicing finger style. Now you have the chorus. Okay? You're on A. So you have, okay, strings two, one, one, just inside the A chord. So you have G, A, and then 
Okay, but it's no, and then sacrifice. Okay, so, but it's no. Okay, you're on A, and you play strength two on one. And then you have D with zero two. Two pull off to zero. Okay, you play the, the chord or just the bass. Okay, so zero two two pull off to zero, and then three on the second string. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then you have, okay, you have the chord, just D. You play strings three, three, two, one. Okay, just three, three, two, one, and then the open E string, and you play the G bass, three on the sixth string. Okay, so, okay, and then you can just fill in the notes. Just play a couple of notes of the chord. That should suffice, okay? Any two notes that you want, okay? Now, technically, this is G6 because of the open E string, but um, it's just technical. You're playing a G chord with the lyrics, okay? With the lyric note upon it, okay? So it's not G6, it's G um, for the sticklers, the theoretical sticklers among you, okay? The G6 chord is not inside the, 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 the chord progression here. And then you have, okay? So you have three on the second string, so you can put it inside the G chord at the end there. So, and then, okay? So if it's uh, three, 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 and then the A bass, the fifth string, and then the open first string. So it's, That's, that's the rhythm here. So it's... And then... Right? And then... Right? So it's 2-2 two, two on the... Um, it's 2-2 two, two on the second string. The open first string. And then you have 3-2 on the second string. So it's... Okay, you can pick them or you can pull them off. Okay, and then you have, okay, the first string, the fourth, three on the second. Okay, back to D. Okay, so it was, okay, A, and then you have D. Now, I play three and two on strings two and three, when I play D, just for harmony, okay, harmonic purposes, just to have a uh, an indication of the chord, okay. But you you can just play the thin version; it sounds fine, okay. But if you want that extra harmony, just play two on the third string with the three on the second, okay, just inside the chord, and then. You play these three notes. You play strings three, two, one on two, three, and zero. And then you have this again. Okay? The same line that you played at the beginning. Okay? You have D with zero, two, two pull off to zero on the first, and three on the second. Okay? You just play this arpeggio before that. Uh, sorry. Okay. And then you have E minor again. You don't put anything on except for two on the first string, and you play. Okay, so you can play two before the chord. Okay, and then you play strings one, two, three, and six with two, three, three, two, zero. Okay, you can pull them off. Okay, so. Okay, now again. You play two before the chord, okay? So D, okay? Two prepares you for the next line, okay? And then you have this, okay? It's three, three on the second, okay? On the second string, you play the A bass with the second note, and then you play the first string twice, three pull off to two on the second string, so it's, 
Okay, or you just pick them. Okay, either way you want to play it is fine. And then you have Okay, tuple after zero on the first string, and then three three on the second, leading you back to D. Okay, and then you just repeat the chorus, or you can go back to the intro, and then repeat the whole song. Okay, so the tab is free. Download it from the website. The link is below in the description. Remember, if you're having trouble with the material here on Lick and Riff, you have Strike a Chord, um, my uh, graphic course. Okay, uh, seven hours of complete beginner journey to intermediate. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, I don't see any reason why you would say no to over 400 of free guitar lessons. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this arrangement and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.